Today's video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. Polybius is an urban legend concerning a fictitious 1981 arcade game. The legend describes the game as part of a government-run crowdsourced psychology experiment based in Portland, Oregon. Gameplay supposedly produced intense psychoactive and addictive effects in the player. These few publicly staged arcade machines were said to have been visited periodically by men in black for the purpose of data mining the machines and analyzing these effects. Allegedly, all of these Polybius arcade machines disappeared from the arcade market. The urban legend has persisted in video game journalism and through continued interest, it inspired video games by its name. The urban legend says that in 1981, when new arcade games were uncommon, an unheard of new arcade game appeared in several suburbs of Portland, Oregon. The game was popular to the point of addiction, with lines forming around the machines and often resulting in fights over who would play next. The machines were visited by men in black, who collected unknown data from the machines, allegedly testing responses to the game's psychoactive effects. Players supposedly suffered from a series of unpleasant side effects, including seizures, amnesia, insomnia, night terrors, and hallucinations. Approximately one month after its supposed release in 1981, Polybius is said to have disappeared without a trace. The company named in most accounts of the game is Sinisloshin. The word is described by writer Brian Dunning as not quite idiomatic German, meaning sense delete or sensory deprivation. The word's meanings are derived from the German words sin, senses, and loschen, to extinguish, or to delete, though the way they are combined is not standard German. The game has the same name as the classical Greek historian Polybius, born in Arcadia and known for his assertion that historians should never report what they cannot verify through interviews with eyewitnesses. Due to the viral and anecdotal nature of the legend, an exact origin is unclear. I believe right now is the perfect time to speak about today's sponsor, BrightVPN. BrightVPN is a completely free, completely anonymous VPN, that can protect you and your family as you surf the internet. Many VPN services claim to be anonymous, and claim to keep your footprint off of the net, but how's that possible if they ask for an email or credit card? If your internet and personal security are important, then I urge you to give Byte VPN a try. You can find the download link in the description to this video. Some anecdotal accounts claim that the legend originated on Usenet circa 1994, or earlier through offline word of mouth, though no recorded evidence exists for either claim. The earliest confirmed record of the legend is an entry for the title added to arcade game resource coinup.org on February 6, 2000 although coinup.org lists the page as originating in 1998, journalist Stuart Brown states that it appears to have defaulted to that time due to a database error caused by a lack of input. The entry mentions the name Polybius and a copyright date of 1981, although no such copyright has ever been registered. The author of the entry claims in the description to be in possession of a ROM image of the game, and to have extracted fragments of text from it, including 1981 Sinisloshin. The remainder of the information about the game is listed as unknown, and its about the game section describes the bizarre rumors that make up the legend. Sometime prior to September 2003, Kurt Koller, owner of Coinup.org, submitted a message to the American video game magazine GamePro about Polybius. Polybius then appeared in the September 2003 issue of GamePro, as part of a feature story on video games called Secrets and Lies. This is the first known printed mention of the game, exposing the legend to a mass market audience. The article declared the existence of the game to be inconclusive, helping to both spark curiosity and spread the story. 
Following the appearance in GamePro magazine, several people claimed to have some involvement with Polybius. In 2006, a man named Stephen Roach claimed he had been one of its original programmers and that his company developed a game with very intense and cutting-edge graphics. However, according to Roach, a boy experienced an epileptic seizure while playing, and the cabinets were withdrawn by the company in a panic. Although Roach offered no proof for his claims, his story added details on gameplay that later inspired Rogue Synapse's game based on the legend. The alleged original Polybius arcade game does not exist the game is a modern-day version of 1980s rumors of Men in Black. This led to the hypothesis that the government was hosting some sort of experiment and sending subliminal messages to the players. Magazines and mainstream news of the early 1980s make no mention of Polybius. Aside the mock-up cabinets and games inspired by the myth, no authentic cabinets or ROM dumps have ever been documented. Ben Silverman of Yahoo Games remarked, Unfortunately, there is no evidence that the game ever existed, no less turned its users into babbling lunatics. Still, Polybius has enjoyed cult-like status as a throwback to a more technologically paranoid era. Skeptics and researchers have differing ideas on how and why the story of Polybius originated. American producer and author Brian Dunning believes Polybius to be an urban legend that grew out of a mixture of influences in the 1980s. He notes that two players fell ill in Portland on the same day in 1981, one collapsing with a migraine headache after playing Tempest, and another suffering from stomach pain after playing Asteroids for 28 hours in a filmed attempt to break a world record at the same arcade. Dunning records that the Federal Bureau of Investigation raided several video arcades in the area just 10 days later, where the owners were suspected of using the machines for gambling, and the lead-up to the raid involved FBI agents monitoring arcade cabinets for signs of tampering and recording high scores. Dunning suggests that these two events were combined in an urban legend about government-monitored arcade machines making players ill. He believes that such a myth must have been established by 1984, and that it influenced the plot of the film The Last Starfighter, in which a teenager is recruited by aliens who monitor him playing a covertly developed arcade game. Dunning considers Sinusloschen to be the kind of name that a non-German speaker would generate if they tried to create a compound word using an English to German dictionary. Internet writer Patrick Kellogg believes that players claiming to remember having played or seen Polybius as early as the 1980s may actually be recalling the video game Cube Quest. Cube Quest, released in arcades in 1983, is a shooting game which played from a laserdisc. Kellogg describes its visuals as revolutionary and far ahead of typical games of the time. He states that the game would be frequently visited for maintenance and was often removed from arcades after a short time for the same reason. British filmmaker and video game journalist Stuart Brown concludes that the Polybius legend began no earlier than 2000, arguing against the purported 1980s origin for the myth. In his review of the legend's history, Brown states his conclusion that the Polybius story began as an intentional hoax in 2000 by Kurt Koller, owner of coinup.org, in order to drive traffic to his site. Brown states that he did not find any evidence of the Polybius myth existing until the year 2000, the same year Brown concludes marked the first appearance of the Polybius article on Koller's site. In Brown's view, the frequently cited 1980s origin of the myth was an invented aspect written into the coinup.org description of that legend, to make Collar's hoax more convincing. Brown further theorizes that people recalling discussion of Polybius on Usenet in 1994 were misremembering articles on the Pink Floyd-related Publius Enigma puzzle.
For Brown, the Polybius hoax capitalized on the popularity of conspiracy theories and the highly viral nature of other internet hoaxes in, or just before, the year 2000. Brown also notes striking similarities between the fonts used on the supposed title screen, provided by the image on coinup.org in 2000, and those used for two Williams Electronics arcade video games, Bubbles and Robotron, 2084. He concludes that the five-pixel text used for the credit counter is similar to that of Robotron, 2084 and that the font that reads, Cinesloshan, is almost identical to that of Bubbles, with the only difference is the appearance of the O and the mirror image reversal of the H along a central vertical axis. Brown states that this could be the work of a copycat fan of Williams Electronics. Both Bubbles and Robotron, 2084 were made by Williams and both were released only a year later than when Polybius was said to first appear. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and found it informative. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend.